Hello McWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag. Now I've updated the Rogue Tag and uh, I have to say after applying a patch today that completely broke my game, there was a second patch that fixed that again. Uh, I think the intervals are a little bit too fast so I really have to keep track of everything and as a content creator it's really 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 tough to update uh, every other day. At least it feels like it but we've got some very very big changes. First of all, let's have a look at our mech warriors. There is a new skill, so this is not breaching shot anymore. This is called War Lord. It grants a 10% weapon damage bonus and plus one to all accuracy. That's insane. That's really, really good. And I think I'm gonna take that later on with um, Inferno probably. Oh, we're gonna see about that. Or maybe with Coach. I think Coach is the, is the man that wants that, probably. Um, again, uh, on top of it, we have a lot of rework concerning support weapons. Flamers are considered energy weapons now, small lasers are considered energy weapons and you need to put them into the appropriate hard points. Not entirely sure if I like this, but it's just the way it goes and so we have to deal with it. Um, also, we had massive damage from our last mission and we gotta repair that before we do anything else. What I also wanna do is this. I found something in the store that I found very interesting. We have access to an LRM20 plus plus with plus one accuracy and plus one evasion ignore and i want to build uh incendiary mis missiles uh we can get these here down below uh, incendiary mis missiles here which reduce the damage by 50 percent but increase the heat by two that means if all of our missiles hit and here's the thinking about that uh, if our all of our missiles hit we get 40 heat on the mech with a single L L lrm20 launcher and therefore i think i'm gonna buy the one with the uh, increased accuracy and evasion ignore why not let's try let's buy this incendiary lrm dead fire what's that plus 35 percent damage plus five percent heat generated minus 30 percent range minus two accuracy hmm okay this just deals massive damage here but we take another ton of regular ammo because um, the special ammo um, just changes the behavior of all of your ammo that you have. Therefore, we need a ton of regular ammo and a ton of incendiary ammo to fuel that LRM20 that we're gonna buy here. So let's have that and we go to our mech bay because we need to fix something here. Our Irinia got his comm system blown off here. That's very unfortunate. Uh, gonna take that out. We're gonna take out the TSM and the R mod, and we are down to 35 tons again. Um, that's gonna be it for the moment. And then we have our dragon. Our dragon got uh, the advanced materials destroyed, which is unfortunate. So we have to probably reduce a little bit of armor to make that thing viable again. Let's go a bit, bit lower on the back armor here. Actually, I think I don't need that much. I think 40 is enough. If we bring back some of the leg armor and yeah 40 everywhere repair this and confirm okay so we got that fixed again our fire starter uh, <laughs> yeah the problem is that uh, machine guns are now ballistic weapons they are considered ballistic weapons here so what guys let me let me quickly talk about that um what um, the modders do here is they try to align rogue tech as closely to battle tech the classic tabletop battle tech as possible um, it is the the whole support system um, system is it's just made by made up by the developers of uh, of the battle tech computer game hairbrain schemes and again the models are trying to push that back with their mod again i think that's fair that's okay uh, i'm not refitting the fire starter right now because i want to outfit the thunderbolt that we got from the last mission and i want to bring in the lrm in here oh god oh god Okay, so we can actually can repair this LRM ammo bin here. I uh, should have should have taken a look into that. But you know what? We do that. Repair this. Repair this. Repair the heatsink. Why not? Okay, so this is the Thunderbolt, and we can bring in our missile launcher into the right side torso. Where's my missile? LRM twenty double plus plus incendiary ammo put it in here let's actually put the other ton over here and this only brings 50 50 shots here it's very important to keep it keep in mind and i believe this still has the 120 rounds so we have 170 which makes it so we can shoot eight times with our lrms our support weapon systems will be medium lasers probably a lot of them because we have the hard points for it 
So let's see what we can do here. Um, uh, let's go for something like this. We have triple medium laser here. We have one over here. And then we still have... Oh, wait. We still have a lot of tonnage. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'm just cramming everything in that, that I can right now. NSS gives us Bulwark? Does, does that mean that if I put in an NSS and an EWS... I think... This is it? I'm, I'm gonna fiddle around with that a bit. So four mediums, probably a bunch more heat sinks. And uh, I really want to get more damage in here. I'm really considering a large laser right now, since we have this one here. Very interesting. And then reduce a bit of armor. Just a tiny bit. Maybe something along those lines. And then we bring in a another heatsink. Oh, double heatsinks. We got a bunch of them. Sure. Give me that. So, that might be a build. Might be, as I was saying. I uh, could also bring in a heat bank, which is interesting. Uh, maximum heat, heat per turn. But it takes up one ton. Now, I think I want to play it like this. So, what does it give us here? The EWS. E plus evasion and sight. Plus harder to hit. Hmm. Plus Bulwark, plus 20% heat, minus 45% signature, plus one defense. This is, you know, very defensive. And it seemingly gives us Bulwark, which is great for a Thunderbolt that stays mostly stationary. I want to check that out. I just want to check that out. Uh, another thing that I could consider is... Oh, we don't have any gyros or any mods. So this is going to be... It takes 15 days to build, takes... 296,000, but it is another mech. And, um, you know, guys, I have just planned it out just very roughly. We gotta see how it plays on the battlefield and then we probably adjust it. Now, how long does it take? The next financial report is coming in in nine days. That means that we have to do a mission or sell stuff before, before we take the next thing. Maybe I'm gonna sell the Catapult K2. That might be a possibility. Gonna send this to storage. Too badly damage to safely lock down for long-term storage. You must repair any existing structures. Ah, could also scrap this for... Ooh, almost a million. Oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what? I'm gonna wait three days, and then we're gonna do one mission. Okay. And, um, you know, we take it. We can take an easy contract for some money. We need... 500,000 um, around about considering the the drop cost as well something like this it's gonna be all right okay so dragon black knight commando and of course our enforcer our enforcer is is a nice addition here we are dropping with our injured mech pilots since we sadly have to and um, we just go like that I'm very much looking forward to try, uh, test out these incendiary missiles. I think that's gonna be interesting. Just um, playing along the, the overheat meta a bit. We have the flamers on the Irinia, so this is our our skirmisher, our overheat mech that goes in and punches people with flamers. And um, we follow up with the incendiary missiles instead of a second mech, a uh, second light mech, for example, the fire starter that um, just goes in and follows up with another flaming hit. Also, again, the large laser and the medium lasers are actually scary on our Thunderbolt. So let's see what it does. Of course, and uh, the damage from the LRMs is... Uh, is still online like we have still what's that two damage each missile that's still something that's times 20 if everything hits it's 40 damage so why not okay what are we doing here we are playing a battle within the last three months the federated suns has struck our facilities personnel and supply convoys over half a dozen times many superiors in the combined leadership would like to even the score we'd like you we'd like to hire you to find a devian lands and destroy it to demonstrate we are not without military resources on Matsuida. God, let's go. Can do. I really like this double chainsaw Black Knight. It's really cool. But I have a feeling that I kind of miss out on firing potential here. So at the moment, I use melee a lot because melee seems very strong to me. Um, but we could also just cram as many heatsinks as possible into that thing and um, just shoot 
lasers, PPCs, any energy weapons that we can find and uh, just destroy enemies at mid-range before the fight thickens and before the battlefield, battlefield gets tighter. Okay, got a bunch of mechs, actually a pair of mechs here. And this area here, this is very interesting. Destroy enemy units, okay, can do. I'm listening. So, our Irinia being piloted by Inferno. Hmm. What about our good old reserve move? Want to see what's coming. If there's something coming up. Oh, there's an enemy turn doing something. Oh, I think that I read in, in one of the comments was... Hmm. Shall we stay in the mineral field? We stay in the mineral field. Let's go. I want to get a little bit to an upfront position. Uh, a thing that I read in the comments was that uh, melee and... Uh, support weapons are not working in conjunction anymore, so that you only can either punch a person or shoot your support weapons at very close range. I don't know if that's true. I want to figure that out today. That, of course, Ready coming from the latest patch. Uh, jumping does nothing. And sprinting. Yeah, sprinting does something. Let's go. I try to advance a little bit more to the... Ah... The reinforcements are coming from this side. And then I should probably advance more to the right to evade them as long as possible. Shadowhawk, 2H. Regular Shadowhawk. Okay, and there, there seems to be something like... Mm, pirate units in the game now. Which I'm looking forward to. 37%. Oh, and we seem to have... True hit chances now. Oh, this is interesting. 37 whatever I do and it seems that I have kind of a breaching shot ability why am I why am I ignoring his guarded state is breaching shot a no thing shooting. for everybody now hey look at this it seems that I'm ignoring his guarded state interesting Tell me what to shoot. yeah and ignores no, guarded but why why Multi-target. Jump. Master Tactician. Mm, I gotta figure that out. So I didn't I didn't see anything regarding that on the on the patch notes. So you sprint. And um, yeah, the, the water is very interesting as a as a terrain to fight in. Because of course the heat dissipation. Okay. So it's uh what is that? A one and a half star mission that we are playing, so I believe we are just fighting against a bunch of mediums and lights, so it's Probably not gonna be a big deal. Commander. commander! You say commander, I say yes. Um, at the same time, I just wanna say, water is rough terrain. I mean, it's uh, reducing our movement in general. So I want them to come a bit closer before I engage there. Let's see. That's the reinforcements on the left side. A lot of light max here, so it seems. That's not a big deal, I hope. To deal with them. Some missiles to the dragon. And with some I mean a whole lot of missiles. That's a trebuchet. With Master Tactician being able to move in initiative turn 4. Okay. That's scary. We gotta deal with that quickly. He's also in, in cover. Means 25% damage reduction. And... Ooh, a Gauss Rifle? Who's shooting a Gauss Rifle? Ooh. I hear ya. Dangerous! I want you to be in, in cover, 100%. <gasps> Still very bad hit chances. Yeah. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Who do we play with here? Jumping? No, I think sprinting is the way to go. So, and since you shot your gas rifle, that means that you are not guarded. I want to see what it is. A hunchback! <gasps> with a gauss! Interesting! Gauss rifle plus, that is. Okay, so we're gonna take you out first. Copy that. Mm-hmm. That was not so good. I gotta say. So, uh, this is scary. This is really scary. What I gotta I deal with you? him very quickly. Sadly, I am not in range for my medium lasers yet. And that means that I can only shoot my Gauss rifle back. 50% hit chance. Roger that. Firing on target. Mm-hmm. That was the arm only. Maybe we can make him unsteady so that his evasion gets off. Maybe. 
Hmm, AC5 hit to the side. And of course the missiles. Yeah, yeah. Is that it? <laughs> Is that it? So, what about you? The chances on this guy, 84%. We'll take it. Um, yeah, the Irinia needs to go to the water. There's no way around it. 84 everywhere. Yes, I am. And we also get like, get vision on this guy now. It is... Oh, this is one of the generous with a lot of LRM5s. So also a very, very good priority target here on this end. Because we can easily, easily destroy that and take out a lot of firepower. So he's unsteady now. Okay. It's great. Also head hit. Good job. What about you? Jumping. Yeah. Copy that. Okay, so get a bit of stability damage in and I think I'm gonna leave out one medium laser because heat. I have to say, what? Oh, I have to say I'm happy with that. Wow, we got knocked down. And actually it would be cool if we kill the pilot. He only has one health left. If we kill the pilot instead of destroying the mech because we can salvage a Gauss Rifle Plus from this fight. That's very interesting. It's a PPC from the outskirts. Okay. Oh, plus zero heat. That's not a PPC. That's a plasma rifle. That's a panther then. Yeah. Okay. So, Irinya. Irinya. What are you going to do? Punching the Shadowhawk. And as you can see, the flamers are not being fired here. It's only the melee weapon that is active. Ah, that's bad. Oh, I have to reconsider everything. I completely have to rebuild a lot of my builds. Oh, that's not good. So I guess we make the cold shot against the uh, Hunchback. We have to. Mm -hmm. I don't want him to stand up again. That completely changes my pace here. Okay. So I go for the headshot. I try. Here goes everything. Mm-hmm. Didn't get it, but we got some heat in there, and he is stressed. That doesn't do anything to his Gauss Rifle. The Gauss Rifle is more or less heat neutral. But... Still, we got something done. And more mechs are closing in from the side. Yeah, we gotta take him out very quickly. Um, Armor's holding, Commander. What nothing was that? Okay, nothing. Um, just because they, they just bring in so much, so, so many different mechs, and they have just overall so much firepower. And that means that we, as soon as we got one mech out, we just okay, reduce firepower, no matter what it is. And uh, light mechs, again, are my more or less my priority after the Hunchback, of course. Just because uh, they are easy, relatively easy to destroy. Okay, let's bring in the Dragon more to the left. Uh, I want to bring the Enforce a bit more to the right, because our Dragon and the Black Knight are our um, sturdiest targets right now. Ah, that's a Gauss Rifle. Ah, that's unfortunate. I wanted to hit the center there. Want some more? Huh? Mm, not good. Not good. I was hoping for a kill here, honestly. We hit the, the wrong torso. I mean, at least he cannot fire back at, at us anymore. That's at least a thing. Okay, evasive. Oh, he can, of course. It was only crit and not destroyed. Only crit. I didn't read that correctly. Yeah. And he did fire his mediums. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Confirmed. Yeah. Nonetheless, we have to deal with this guy. The chances are... Oh wait, no, that's, that, that, ah, that's the Enforcer. Enforcer, Enforcer. Go to the water, please. Shoot all of your weapons. Yep. I'm there. I was already one initiative turn ahead and I was thinking about the Black Knight here. But hey, Enforcer in the water, shooting the Hunchback. Fun time. Seems like a plan to me. What about this? Ha, you like that? Okay, so we need to knock down and the pilot is dead. Or we destroy center torso. I'm just aiming at this Gauss Rifle. Shadowhawk. Was a miss. Okay, and only minor damage to the to the dragon. Of course, our Irinia is now being backstabbed here, or flanked, whatever. Uh, uh -huh, uh. Don't like the situation, I have to say. Do not like the situation. 
Of course, this would be glorious. It's 152 damage plus double 55. However, the Hunchback is just the target that I need to go for. Okay, we twist in a bit more. So that we um, have our mech exposed to the left side. And then we just go for it. Roger. Come on, let knock, knock him down. Ah, there's the right horse of destruction. Sadly, that destroys the Gauss rifle. Okay, but we have the Hunchback down. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Is that the Panther? With the Plasma? Yeah. Was a miss. I wonder what I'm gonna do with Inferno here. Probably punching the Jenner a bit. So it's either a punch with 62 damage. Could destroy him. No, can't. Damn it. So then... The only, re the only reasonable thing that we can do is trying to get over here. This is not the back arc, this is the side. The back arc would be this, but we have not enough movement to get in there completely. Um, yeah, in this case, I would probably just m hmm, actually just move over here and kill the Shadow Hawk. Shadow Hawk is very, very evasive though. How do I set this up? 56... Not good. I think it's it's gonna be a punch. So let's get rid of the evasion from the Jenna. Let's get some damage in. That's a lot of damage off the battlefield, destroying the arm. That's good. A critical hit. And then we follow up with um, I don't know with T-bone probably. Ah, uh, T-bone. That's coach. Okay, coach on the enforcer. What's that gyro doing for us? Harder to hit. Oh, nice. Uh, that was a... Panther. That was the fire starter. Plasma torch. <sighs> okay. Okay. I believe that's a melee weapon that uh, also generates heat. Interesting. What can I do for you? Very interesting. Okay. Let's get out of here. Uh -huh. Okay. We shoot a Jenna. Oh, the Gauss! The Gauss! You really need to get that in! <laughs> okay, so we have the knockdown at least. The Jenna won't do anything any anytime soon. Um, I'm planning on using my Black Knight to melee the Shadowhawk next turn. The double hit! Good job! With five evasive... No, four evasive chevrons. Okay. Hmm. Thing is, I, I want to stay in motion because I, I need you evasion. <laughs> this is so important. <laughs> okay, now we can make the call shot to the center. Firing. Come on, don't disappoint me. Coach, you can do it. There we go. This guy is not doing anything. Tango is trash, so, Shadowhawk is the last enemy to move. I wonder what he's doing now. It's engaging the dragon at super close range, which is okay. I actually have two choices, or can can have two options. Uh, I could either try to destroy yes, the Shadow Hawk, which yeah, I should probably do that, or engage already here and and move there. Mm, can uh, can open him from the back? Why not? So, again, 152 plus 52 times two. Go? Go. Structure exposed. Ah, it's a leg. That was the chainsaw attack. The arm was hit. Ah, that's okay. I mean. We have Juggernaut, we have the Knockdown. This guy is back to turn one now. It's not doing anything. And we can make a lot of cold shots. Yeah, we need to get away from these guys. Very important. Inferno! Do, do your Inferno things, please. Mm. That's as good as it gets right now. Oh, I could have sprinted. I could have sprinted, I forgot that. My bad. Any, actually, let's go for the leg. The second leg is easier to destroy than the center torso. Just has less armor. It's harder to hit though. But eventually we will get there. Okay, so that's that. I believe a bunch of uh, the guys on the left will shoot the Enforcer now. No, still the dragon. Oh, with a head hit. Oh, that's not good. 
Uh oh. Okay, that's a commando. With rocket launchers and SRMs. Interesting. Good to go. Um I want to use coach actually before we do anything else. Mm -hmm. It's only one and a half. That's two. Am I am I being backstruck? Yeah, probably. So we do it like this. Can I use vigilance? I can. Do I want to do that? Probably. Just in case. Okay, here we go. Select open and select destroyed. Nice. Okay, so that's a dead Shadowhawk. Bye bye. <laughs> cool, so, four more max. Oh, oh. Four more max. What is that large laser, dude, with, uh, with an auto cannon? Auto cannon, large laser? I can't think of any combination right now. Is that something new that I don't know? No idea. Actually, now I want to use Vigilance. <laughs> what can we shoot? We can shoot this guy. Had a very bad hit chance. I think this is the best we can get right now. Uh, and yes, guys, um, you, were, you were talking about um, efficiency in terms of ammunition in the comments section. And I gotta tell you this. Uh, I'd rather take a shot at a very poor hit chance and use... Um, like, like this here. It's 37. I'd rather take a shot like that and might get a hit. Uh, instead of taking ammo home, so I, I don't care so much. Commencing alpha strike. That's my reason behind that. See, sometimes it's just the way to go. Good to go. Okay, now we have Scrub. Scrub needs to sprint. Now, Confirm. I really hope that one of the pulse lasers hits. Wait, when is he going to act? Turn four. What about a precision strike? The hit chances are not too bad. It's twenty-five percent. And I mess with his initiative, so I can follow up on that with one of my mediums, maybe. Shoot everything. Why not? Let's go. Taking the shot. And it's the kill. I don't even need to follow up on that. Great. So, I have the water, you have the high ground. I think that's a fair trade. And still the dragon. People don't like the dragon. Okay. It's crazy, isn't it? The dragon is one of my prime targets I all hope. the time. Wow. Just wow. Okay, AC-10, large laser. Enforcer, sure. Of course. Of course. It's a good target to hit, honestly. Let's bring the Enforcer a bit to the front. Double time. Let's go. To get some damage off the dragon. I'm on him. Nothing. It's the best target that I could shoot now. You gotta be shitting me. That should have hit. Okay, commander coming close. And as planned, my enforcer is getting it. That's good. That's really good. Targeting computer. <gasps> the targeting computer is giving me breaching shot. Wait a second. Does everybody have that? No! It's coming from the targeting computer! Right here. Ah, interesting! So, medium pulse to the Irania, uh, to the, not Irania, to the commando. Uh, we can also bring in everything. Let's go. Looking forward to that. Also, the flamers. Wow, the flamers deal more damage now compared to the ones before. Um, the former ones had 8 damage. And now they deal 15. Firing everything. Okay. Okay, I can I can see the reasoning behind that. Now shooting with the flamers is actually better than meleeing. Oof. Okay, 60 damage. To the right side. We've got advanced materials in here. I gotta be careful. Waiting for orders. And that's T-Bone. Not entirely sure if I want to use T-Bone right now. I'm gonna reserve him. Got something you want and use Scrub and his. Uh huh, and his his what's it called? Black Knight. That's what we want to do. So my reasoning is maybe I can make him unsteady, and then I follow up with the dragon with a better hit possibility. And I think I'm gonna push the limits here. Okay, we got a head hit. Is this gonna be the overheat? No. Okay. 
37. 30. Ah, this is 56. This is really good. Moving to position. Oh man, and I think in this situation here, I have to take this shot. That's fine. 50-50 hit. Okay. And we dissipated some heat. Now, I wonder what the panther is doing. He still has this plasma rifle, which is actually scary if it hits. Both weapons missed. He was shooting the Irinia with the huge evasion. Wow. Good, actually. Very good. And you are about to overheat, right? No, not really. Damn it. I want you off the battlefield, though. Yep. Confirmed. Definitely. I'm actually considering a cold shot. But I think, no, that wouldn't do anything to us. So, just we shoot just Confirmed. everything. And hope that we get the knockdown. That might be a possibility. Yeah, there it is. So, that messes with his initiative. Okay. Yeah, health, one out of four, and then two out of four? What was that? <laughs> okay, he's standing up, though. Still being able to shoot. He still has that SRM-6 plus a medium laser. That little commander won't give up. Okay. Alright. Wait, we got heat? Why did we get heat? <gasps> Inferno ammo! Inferno ammo! Ah, okay. I see what you did there. So, now, shoot this guy, right? I want to um, use the Black Knight to destroy the commando here. So it's not a big deal. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna push the limits. Wanna get some damage in here? Nice. Inflicted some nasty on that some bitch. Ammo explosion avoided, shutdown override successful. Good. Now, what is he, is he doing? Leg is open, that means that we can... Uh oh if we are lucky, we can get a uh, knockdown, we can get pilot injuries here. That's Waiting great. And I want to stay in the water, definitely, 100%. Right, Commander. Mm-hmm. We can also do this. Yeah, let's go. Affirmative. Let's go. So, now our Black Knight can just deal with the Panther. And since the Panther is in a mineral field, it's relatively hard to hit him, I would say. And for that reason, and because we can, we just go in and double chainsaw him. Plus our regular melee attack. I really like the guarded state after the melee attack. It's so good. Okay. Yeah? Two components destroyed, he's fatigued, and he's a knockdown. So, two pilot injuries, one health. And of course, Juggernaut and, and initiative, pushback and everything. Ooh, I like this idea a lot. So why am I pushing the Enforcer here? Um, first of all, Juggernaut. Because of this, we can push him back one initiative turn. And I was hoping, really hoping, for a lack destruction so that he's pushed even further. Okay. And since he lost his plasma rifle, I think the panther wasn't that dangerous anymore. Am I right? I am right. Okay, good. So this. Oh. oh. What? Hey, Wire. I'm EMP'd! Commander? <laughs> That's what I mean here. We can just stay here and, and shoot this guy. And try to knock him down. All weapons are go. What? Are you kidding me? Go wow. Now oh, that was bad. That was so bad. I need water. Give me water. This is water. <laughs> okay. I honestly did not expect that. Anything I can do here, like pushing him back one turn, doesn't do too much. Uh, let's not shoot our ERs, they generate too much heat. Let's see what you got. Okay, now it's his turn. Mm. Mm. 
Good thing is that we have a lot of back armor. That ripped up a bunch of armor. Well, that was unexpected. I thought I would destroy this guy here. I did not. Ready for orders. Oh, okay, so he is... Hmm. Yeah, let's shoot him. Let's shoot him. We can punch him, the, the Enforcer, with the Andrinia later. To mess around with his initiative. And then we have Coach to follow up on that. And hopefully that's the kill then. <laughs> okay. Hi, Inferno. Um, actually, I want you to engage from the left side. Can you... You can only engage from there. Oh, that's bad. Or, wait, 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 what am I talking here? Uh, you know what? Ah, the hit chances are really bad. This guy is extremely evasive. What if I stay here? Oh, I cannot. Yeah, then it's the punch. I was considering doing the flamer overheat, but I think it's not enough. The hit chances are too bad. Saitozo, nine damage. Can you destroy that, please? That would be so much appreciated. Here we go. Unsteady? Headed? Come on, say unsteady. Black on AC, 10 ammo. Okay, so we got that. Waiting for orders. And now with T-Bone, following up on that, hopefully getting finally a Gauss rifle hit. <laughs> it should be done. It should be it. Stretching the limits here, let's go. Firing everything I've got. It's a torso destruction. Critical hit, Commander. That's the knockdown. But he's still alive. He is still alive. Crazy. So, does our Black Knight have a chance to... Yeah, okay, to follow up on that. <laughs> Let's go. That's gonna be it, guys. Hopefully. We will see about that. go we can shoot the center do we shoot the center we shoot the center everything fire Target locked. It's go time. we got him so even if that was a, wasn't a center hit uh, with the last few hits there we had him with the side also destruction and as a result the pilot kill so mission successful we don't need to worry about money that much anymore our next financial report is safe we got that good um, we didn't get any major damage. We didn't get any... Oh, we got one injury, I guess. Oh, two? Gotta see about that. So that's unfortunate, of course. That slows down our progression a bit. But I'm looking forward to test out the Thunderbolt. And that's gonna be the next thing to do. So 500 and something. That's good. That's exactly what we need. Yeah, two injuries on T-Bone. Mm. What do we take? Mmm, picking time. You're a medium. Plasma Torch, what's that? Tell me. Uh, 20 heat, 40 damage. 3 tons. Oh, gives me gives myself heat as well. 6 slots. Sounds very interesting. Mm, I think I'm gonna take some double heat things though. Or TSM. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Now, I think I'm gonna take the double heat thing. I want my my heat management to be buffed. Let's take this. Get some parts here. Okay. We were coming for the money anyway. So, now we can uh, let the timer tick down and have our Thunderbolt um, be, be ready. Do I need to change my... I'm just considering it right now. Do I need to change my builds entirely? Uh, my Black Knight is okay as it is right now, I would say. The Irinia, hmm... Uh, melee is not a thing that the Irinia does that much anymore, so I can take everything out in terms of armor, TSM. Just not punching that much anymore. Right? So why would I why would I ever punch a guy unless I want to juggernaut uh, somebody? Do I even take the Irinia with me? I mean in the long run, I want to have more mediums and more heavies. Oh, I got a Hunchback 4P. Okay. Why not? So, 16 days until the, until the Thunderbolt is ready. 
T-Bone's sadly out of action for a while. But why did I just get there? The Hunchback 4P. Why in the hell did I get the Hunchback 4P? Was there a Hunchback 4P on the battlefield? I mean, seriously, why why do I have a Hunchback now? No idea. Uh, anyhow, we're gonna wait a while. Because I want to try the Thunderbolt. It's very important. We gotta do some, some research here. Power Spike. Just got a Power Spike in the med bay, Sumir announces. Must have fried something. The power is out down there. A few minutes later, Darius and Dr. Murad are discussing options. It's a major relay to replace it. Um, I need to shut down everything connected for several hours. You'll have life support and not, not much else. Uh, can we just repair the relay without shutting everything down? Possibly, but I wouldn't recommend that approach. We'd likely just be putting medbay's problem off to deal with later. Mm. I want to repair the med bay without the power down, I would say. We lose a medical point for 30 days, but that's okay. That's alright. How many do we have anyway? Seven, okay. I've got the financial report. Yes, the financial report. We're gonna not lose any morale here. Oh, I'm riding I'm riding my balance hard. Okay, there's the Thunderbolt. Three, two, one. Go. Good. Now, we need a contract and we might have some more skills on our Mech Warriors being ready. Uh, so, what's the idea behind that? Indirect fire penalty. I need Commander. one Mech Warrior with that skill. Order. Who do I take though? This is not a good, good Mech Warrior. Let's take Coach as our dedicated indirect fire dude. And uh, of course I want to get Warlord later on him, so that makes sense, getting some tactics in. Uh, yeah. Inferno, doing nothing right now, Scrub, doing nothing right now, and T-Bone is out of order, so I cannot even skill here, because um, the system how this works is, as soon as you got an injury on your pilot, your overall stats are being reduced. And that makes it so that, um, you know, you cannot skill that right now, because it is temporarily reduced and, you know, you're not at maximum. Uh, let's take a look at the hiring hall. Maybe we can get a spare pilot to replace him for now. What's up, boss? Oh, what about this guy? His name is uh, Panzer. <laughs> Panzer with the Master Tactician and Juggernaut ability. It's actually not a bad idea. It's high tactics, piloting guts. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna hire him. New mech warriors available. Standing by. Ronin is sadly very average here. Although I like her, I like her, her portrait and her voice lines. Do I take her as well? I mean, we can level her up. I'm receiving you. With the training pods later on, we could also level her up passively. Mm, Twenty-four thousands per month. It will clutter my or increase my my whole expenses a lot. I just like this. This is this is not a, a reasonable decision, but I just like her portrait. New mech warriors available. Okay, we need money, guys. We need a lot of it. I think we are not even able to drop like this. So, to get enough money, to to drop reasonably, I'm gonna sell something now. And again, the reasoning why I have so much stuff is that I want to be able to drastically change my build and strategy just to test different different approaches to the, the whole game here. We can probably sell these three flamers. Because we have eight flamer triple plus. I have a heavy rifle, a gauss rifle. I'm gonna keep these. Uh, what's the difference between these? Don't know. Sell some of the large lasers. I got a lot of LRM10s, which I never use. Probably. Got a lot of mediums here. And Narc Beacon, interesting. A bunch of PPCs that I can sell. Uh, okay, and then, you know, heat sinks and jump jets and ammo and such. But I think we are fine like that. Okay, command center, contract, we try our Thunderbolt. Mm, do we have another battle or something? Different base. Haha, <laughs> three and a half. I don't dare doing this right now. I think two and a half is okay. We have a defend base mission. Which we can probably take, so let's go. Um, we definitely go for 3 out of 14 salvage here. As as you might know, I need money. And we replace. Now, here's the thing. What do we replace? 
Is it a panther? Is it the Irinia? It's a good question. I'm very tempted to do this. So what would we do here? This guy is not really good at gunnery, but at punching people. So we need one dedicated mech that goes in and punches people. Specifically. Which is the Black Knight. Okay, let's quickly sketch that out. T-Bone takes a break. End of story. Um, I would say that... The... Dragon will be piloted by Inferno and Scrub is taking the Irinia and then Coach is trading the Enforcer for the Thunderbolt. What if the Enforcer is being piloted by Scrub? We would lose Bulwark. Do I need the Irinia? Do I need the Irinia? We could play it like this. Even better, like this. Let's try. I think this is good. So we have, oh actually we have now three and a half, um, three and a half shields or wings or whatever. So we could have taken the three and a half skull mission just to level out the balance there. Uh, but I'm not, not, I'm uncertain with the, with the whole missile situation that we have here and the, the long range missiles. Let's try if they're good or not. Again, in my head, it makes sense taking this combination, the higher accuracy LRM here, that just overheats enemies. Ah, of course. I should have taken the Irania because of the Flamers. And this is a thing that I want to want to change in the build. Uh, as much as I like the, the medium pulse lasers on the Irania, I think a whole super close range overheating mech that just overheats everybody in one go or half a go is, is way better than having some small lasers here. And since our Flamers triple plus deal 15 damage now, I think just ditching the small lasers, ditching the medium pulses is the right way to go. Then we can bring in the medium pulses in the Black Knight so that we have some some early, early combat weapons that we can shoot while we are advancing. I think this is the way to go. Yeah, medium pulse laser on the Black Knight, Flamers on the Irinia, Thunderbolt on top of it, and then the dragon. Command Sounds like a plan. Okay. So. That's it. We're gonna get pressured from two sides, I believe. It's all Thunderbolt. I'm pretty happy that he is uh, guarded right now. Okay. So that's the Vanguard. Okay. So, Panzer! Panzer, Panzer! Huh, there's a spider and something else. Um, yeah. Okay, so, so that's Inferno on the... What's it called? Enforcer. How do we break their evasion? Hmm. Difficult. Difficult. Right here. Can shoot everything here, but the hit chances are horrible. What about if I sprint it? Uh, it's not really better, but the spider is the only thing that we can shoot right now, so let's do it. Hi. Okay, so in this scenario here, I think I have to... Oh, wait, what, 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 what? what? Uh, I have to save some ammo for later. I need to do that in this one here. What was that? That was a rocket launcher. Two rocket launcher 10 and an arc welder. Oh, I like these, I like these fancy melee weapons here. That's cool. I think we gotta, gotta get trouble from the other side as well. S later. Let's reserve. Yeah, let's just see what happens. Oh, let's just see what's happen. Mm-hmm. Oh, down there? Okay. Yeah, let him come close. It's fine. I'm, I, I don't need to push out too hard here. Ready for orders. So, Gauss Rifle, Dragon. Mm -hmm. So if my Gauss Rifle hits, this guy Move will be unsteady and then we can follow up. Ah, should have used the Pulse Lasers from the Black Knight before. I think that would have been the better combination. Never mind, this works Target's as well. So this guy is not evasive anymore Stand and now by. we can just go ahead and shoot him. 
Um, you and your black knight. Yeah, exactly. I copy. You copy? That's good. So the pass lasers from the black knight, of course, they ignore evasion from enemies and therefore they are really good at getting some stability damage in to uh, make him unsteady and then he loses his evasion and then I could have followed up with the Gauss rifle a bit more reliably. Is this a kill? No? That hit something good. Yeah, this is a kill because the pilot is now getting getting killed. Okay, so that's a spider down. It's a start. That's good. This is a cicada with medium lasers. Okay. No big deal. What shall we do about him? I really want to bring all of my weapons. Even if that means that we are getting a bit of heat on coach. I mean, it's the only target we have right now. Hmm, he's guarded on top of it. Let's shoot. Oh, and now the missiles. So I want to see. 16 heat. Well, it's not that much. I think we need more. Also, how many missiles do we shoot? Or how many missiles do we have? Uh, if my theory is correct, we should have 170 missiles in our ammo bins. And minus 20 that we shot, now it's 150 left. Again, if I'm correct. And it is 150. Okay, so that's good. Commander. Exactly how it works. Yeah, so that's definitely a melee attack here. Yep. Cicada being my next target. And I want to get rid of his evasion. That is done by... <sighs> Oh, stability damage. Piloting check? Okay, avoided instability. Good. Hmm, this brings me to the next target here. Yan Lo Wang. <gasps> okay, Ultra AC-10 and a Chainsaw. That's a Centurion Hero Mech. Hello, Mr. Mr. Wang. Yes, Commander. Okay, I, I, I guess everybody is doing Wang jokes now in chat, in, 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 in the comment section below. <laughs> uh, yeah, speaking about not pushing out too far, I think this is what I'm doing right now. I don't want to jump. I think I have to. If I want to bring in my chainsaws, we have to do that. Also, I need to get the enforcer out. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Cicada. Ooh, the heat. I mean, we dissipate it afterwards if we... Okay, that's a shutdown. Uh, if we melee. I should really st stop interrupting my sentences. I'm losing track all the time. Okay, that should give him unsteadiness. This heat is cooking my internal structure. Does he have an arc reactor in the back? Look at this. What's that? Iron Man confirmed. Okay. Got something you want done? Okay, okay, okay. Order, hmm. You should have bulwark, right? So if you just stay here, coming from our NSS, whatever, uh, system, let's confirm this. If I stand steady and only shoot and not move my mech, I should be guarded. I'm on him. Working like a charm. Okay. We got a bit ah, more like heat that? in now. Ready to get it on. Moving to position. Sadly not enough to make him unsteady. Ah, I don't know if, if the if the heat is the right way to go here. All weapons are go. And that's good. That's a dad cicada. Alright. Now the question is, do we have enough forest between us and this guy? Uh oh yeah, to not make him melee us. It seems like it. But I'm Ultra AC-10. It's not doing anything. Receiving you. Okay. I wanted to say an Ultra AC-10 okay, is confirmed. scary nonetheless. Hey, I have two chainsaws. What do you think? Ah, the miss, the miss on the big hit. Always a shame. <laughs> hit the chainsaw in the head. <laughs> No, uh huh. And then there is the Shadowhawk with two tags. And two tags? An Ultra AC 10 and an SRM 6. Um, what listen. the hell is that? Can you explain, please? Can you please explain? I'm gonna melee here. 
for the reason that I want to use all my Juggernaut ability. <laughs> yeah, problem is that we destroyed the Ultra 10, which is a great weapon and I really would have liked that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shoot him. Okay. Now that's a head hit. Sorry. Sorry. You just stay there. Mm, I want to stay here with the dragon because I, I assume that there are enemies coming from the other side come. soon. You really need to work on your Gauss rifle. Is that, is that a thing for the Gauss rifle now? Having a... Minus weapon down. accuracy? It has a... Actually, it has Getting a bonus accuracy. <sighs> okay. So... Uh-huh. Oh, there's another Ultra AC-10 on the Shadowhawk. Maybe we can keep that. It's on the left side torso. Remember, left side torso. Keep that alive, please. So, you you please... Can, can you please chainsaw his back and then kill him or so? Maybe? Yeah, right torso works for me. I'm fine with that. Couldn't see. I couldn't see what happened. It happened so fast. I think it was just center torso. All right. Pew pew. Sorry. Orders. I won't get that. Commander. Standing by. Locking in coordinates. No problem. On my way. Very quickly try to Moving. get that done here before the active battle starts it. again, which is probably now. Right. Up a blip. No, the buildings. Uh, I mean, at least they. Sp Flash the damage and spread the damage, but ooh, miss. <gasps> it has one health. One, one. Ready to get it on. <laughs> okay, so what now? Uh, we got to sprint to the front. Full speed sounds good. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I'm I'm not trying to perfect this mission here. It's gonna be all right. Ah, it's a plasma cannon. So probably. Uh, wait, no, that might have been a. No, it was a plasma cannon. It said plus zero heat. Huh. Okay, Black Knight to the front. Enemy turn. Ooh, heavy mech. Okay, double PPC or something. Oh, we can't establish line of sight. Nowhere. Oh, we can. Okay, so what do we have here? A gladiator. Double plasma. And an Aris, a double ear PPC, ear medium laser, S SRM6 streaks. Whoo. Okay. Okay. I think. I mean, I'm super duper mega evasive, but I think I'm still gonna use Vigilance. It has to be done. I mean, hit chances were really bad, but 25% and 30 is still good. It's not. Horrible. It's still possible. <laughs> okay. You got it. Okay, this guy is about to overheat. I think I'm gonna shoot him. Let's go. See? 30%. Definitely hittable. Is it enough? Heat critical? Shut down! No? Okay. So, what's the gladiator doing now? Oh, please shoot the dragon. Yes. Maybe we will be able to perfect this, depending on what the AI thinks is more dangerous now. Buildings or my mech warriors. We have Juggernaut. We have Juggernaut. Could also just shoot him? What if I stand here? Chances are bad. I think I'm gonna punch him. Not even kidding. Using my Juggernaut ability to make sure that this guy is not doing anything this turn. Uh, maybe we will be able to perfect the mission. Let's see. He's also uh, rough terrain and steady. Like, wow, nice. Nice hit there. So it's uh, an easy, easy unsteady here. Easy knockdown. That's actually really good. That's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you sprint? Ooh. Your chances are bad. 
Oh yeah, because you are not really good at gunnery. I just forgot. You are not one of my good mech warriors. You are the new guy. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Still, sprinting is the way to go here. I want to be able to... To... Possibly destroy this. Heat bank. Oh, he has a heat, heat exchanger. So center torso is probably not what I should go for. Oh, I want that. Yeah, exchanger double plus. Uh, I cannot. Locking on target. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. I'm listening. Yo, Inferno. Inferno, Poperno, what do you do? What is it you can do? You can make a cold shot with this or shoot everything to the gladiator. Gotta check hit chances real quick. Just run. Seven shots for the AC. Yeah, it's definitely this guy. Firing at him. You're not good at hitting stuff today. Come on, punch out. Punch out. Confirm. I want this. I want the, the stuff that you have there. So... Uh, sprinting here. Still good hit chances. Yeah, I want to be able to shoot my medium lasers, so I'm gonna go in here. I got you. Let's see. Another cold shot to the side. Again, I want to set him under stress. All go. Uh, is this gonna be shut down? So, ammo destroyed, health 3 out of 5, pilot injured, but he will stand up. Okay, so we couldn't shut him down with the missiles. We need the uh, targeting computer for indirect fire or something. Or a general missile accuracy. That will help a ton. And honestly, maybe even another missile launcher that um, shoots more missiles at a, at a single guy in one turn. Making, making the people overheat. I think this is actually very crucial in the thing that I want to do here. So, um, again, initiative, initiative, initiative. It's all about initiative. Therefore, juggernaut. I want to keep the building safe. And that's Black Knight against Black Knight. That's solid. That's really good. Okay. Now, both are gonna act in initiative turn two. This guy is about to get unsteady. This guy is about to get knocked down. So we're gonna shoot the Black Knight. Sure. He also has no evasion, courtesy of the punch that he just got. And that means that he ha we have the better hit chances on this guy. And there's the knockdown. Sadly, it's not a kill. Okay. I like the idea of the weapon slowdown here. Double plasma seems scary. I'm being flanked. Ooh, the back shot. Where did he get hit? In the arm. That Ooh, that is good actually, because a a hit in the in the back would have been devastating to our inner materials again. Receiving you. <sighs> Scrub. Okay, since the thunderbolt has done something already, I'm gonna shoot the black knight. And I think Scrub has a high enough piloting skill. I think it's six or so to actually get the cold shot right. Yeah, that's great. Fire. Just get it off the battlefield. Doesn't really matter. I think we are going to perfect this mission here. It's looking good. I was a bit worried in the first phase. But I think we can do it. So, uh, you, can you just do this? Just use your bulwark ability. Why not? Mm-hmm. Heat is critical again. I mean, this is cool. I like this. I really, really like this. Yes, Commander. But we need more missiles to make that really worthwhile. Coordinates received. I think this is it. I think I'm gonna drop the large laser. It has to be done. Oh no, we miss. Oh, don't get knocked down. Okay. Chainsaw, maybe? For the win? Left arm destroyed. Reporting critical hit. Not exactly what I expect. Right here. Mmm. So. Overheat. Yes, no. Maybe. 
precision, precision strike. Offensive push, that is. It is an offensive push. Really hope that we do not blow off our ammo. Really hope. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did you? So as I was saying, I want to keep the exchanger online. It's gonna be so valuable. Heat critical. Ammo explosion avoided. Shut down. Override. Successful. Good. Good to go. <sighs> How do we kill you? I have no idea. It's 21 damage to the center. We probably get that thing destroyed. Can I? Get a clean headshot, please. Confirmed. Can I get a clean headshot? Give it to me. Target acquired. Oh, it's a CT. It's okay. The dream was real, but it's all right. Mission successful. That was good. So, incendiary missiles. Do I like them? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I like them. Um. We need more of them, definitely. Or we need to bring back the Irinia. Or we gotta exchange the Enforcer for another Meteor Mech with something different. I don't know yet, but um, it's feeling good. And with a bit of tweaking, we can definitely, definitely make something out of this Thunderbolt. Okay, so perfect, as I was saying. No internal damage, no injuries, and all the buildings survived. Good job. The questions. That's a uh, two ballistic, two energy, two missiles, six support weapons. Okay, interesting. Arc welder, what's that doing? Uh-huh. It's a smaller torch, I would say. Seems like it, yep. Plasma cannon. Oh, also very interesting. We could use that for for overheating people as well. Oh, Ultra AC10, oh my god, the damage, double uh, like twice 55 advanced materials like crazy oh my god so much stuff dni cockpit plus one melee accuracy plus two pips what does that mean direct neural interface granting improved control over the mech at risk of injury risk of injury what does that mean it's worth a million c bills I gotta take that. Me melee accuracy plus two pips minus 10% death from above self damage. That seems crazy. I need that in my Black Black Knight, probably. We've got the heat bank. Ah, oh, no, we have a heat bank already. I want the exchanger. What's that? Excavator claw plus 20 melee damage. Minus two <laughs> melee hit is just a huge excavator claw that just mm, swings around like crazy. I like that idea. Um, Two tons for plus 20 damage. That's crazy. That's so much. A bunch of heat sinks, jump jets, a rangefinder, plus plus supercharger. Also so interesting for the Black Knight. Ah, uh, crap. I gotta take that. Gotta make the Black Knight a monster. Seriously. It has to be done. Um, hmm. As much as I want that excavator claw, um, I think I need the Ultra IC-10 more. That's an Ultra 10, guys. An Ultra 10, 55 times 2, that's 110 damage. In one shot. It weighs as much, almost as much as uh, AC-20, though. Do we take this, actually? Advanced materials are so good as well. Comp system, everything is so nice. We have the double heat sinks on the board. We have a heat bank already, so therefore I'm not taking it. Oh, maximum melee. Maximum melee. It has to be maximum melee. Yeah. Okay. So, what did we get? Yandelwang parts. I uh, got spider parts. Advanced materials tier 1. Okay. We have a double heatsink. Some TSM, which will help us as well. Okay, nothing so crazy. But we, we got some good stuff. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna take a look into, into the docks, if there are any docks, what this NDI cockpit interface does. Um, neural interface, what was it called? Neural direct interface thing? The cockpit mod that we just got. Uh, that was your episode of Rogue Take for today. I'm very excited to rebuild the Irinia, I'm very excited to rebuild the Black Knight as a melee 
Black Knight that is going in brawling. And if you enjoyed this episode, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield or next time. Goodbye.